Welcome back to The Vegan Experimentalist. Here I talk about what I ate in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I ate in several places in the Kensington Market neighborhood of Toronto, and here is Nabati, a Middle Eastern all-vegan restaurant. Here I ordered the Zatar cauliflower pita and the Alexandria shroom. Everything was awesome. I tried a dessert from Bunners, which is an all-vegan, all-gluten-free bakery in the neighborhood, and I got the s'mores cookie. Two soft, chewy s'more cookies with marshmallow fluff inside. Delicious. This next place, Veggie Delight, was incredible. I got the small meal and it had so many different things, such a huge variety. I think that day the proteins were curry, a jerk seitan, and a moringa loaf, and it was superb. Next, it was time for some vegan donuts. This place was called Bloomers and it was on Queen Street, and I think there's a second location elsewhere in town. This rivaled my favorite donuts from Dottie's Donuts in Philadelphia and Beacon Donuts in Chicago. I had the London Fog and the Earl Grey really, really came through. I also tried the iced matcha latte. Fantastic. I also tried Buddha's vegan restaurant. It was good, but it just didn't blow me away. I ordered the Buddha's Deluxe, which was kind of just like a mixed vegetable. Maybe I could have ordered something more interesting, but it was a heat wave. I was walking around and spicy dishes don't necessarily sit well with me. I also tried the Kung Pao um, and that was good too. I went to this walk-up gelato bar, all vegan. It's called Milk Vegan Gelato. And I think it's co-located at the Osteria do a vegan Italian restaurant. Anyway, um, there was lots of different flavors. I got the Oreo and it was delicious. I went to Gia, an all vegetarian Italian restaurant. I would say it's about one third vegan and it's clearly labeled. Um, I got the house made focaccia. It was beautifully oily, uh, really warm and delicious. Um, I also got the broccolini, which had dill and lemon. And for the pasta, I got the pappardelle with peas, lemon, mint, and a pumpkin seed pesto. It was really, really rich and absolutely fantastic. This next cafe was a real treat. It's called Tsuchi, which in Japanese means soil or earth. And it was so cute and it had all types of pastries and drinks and I got a beautiful, delicate quiche that was so flavorful, as well as non bon veggies. They were sort of pickled. Um, I think there was kabocha squash and red bell pepper, but there was this really nice sesame oil flavor. I also got um, a hojicha latte. It was stunning. I recommend this the most from my trip. I also went to Vegan Danish Bakery. It had a huge case. It was really hard to pick. I got one sweet and one savory. I got this little um, butter tart, they called it, but it kind of had like a pecan pie filling. Um, it was really sweet. The pastry was very nicely executed. And then I got this um, sort of vegan pepperoni pizza baguette, which was really nostalgic. I used to make this sometimes when I was a kid, and it was really, really delicious. I went to a pop-up from the Melanated Vegan, and I had already eaten, so I just got the smallest thing on the menu, which was the Trini Doubles. So two flatbreads stuffed with um, chana chickpeas, and it was really, really good. It was my first time having that, um, and I would absolutely have it again. It was delicious. This next place was a really fun venue, but it was more of a snack. So it was the Steam Whistle Brewery and Beer Garden, and Steam Whistle is a Canadian beer, and it was located in the shadow of the CN Tower in Roundhouse Park in this historic uh, railway center, and I got the everything uh, pub pretzel with a side of mustard, and it was fantastic. I ate at Rosalinda Vegan Restaurant, and the warm guajillo noodles with a charred red cabbage um, was the single most delicious bite I had on the trip. It was smoky. It was salty. They were al dente. It was a little spicy. I cannot 
wait to have that again. I also had a preparation in a banana leaf. They called it a barbacoa and it had charcoal beets and vegetables. It had rice and beans in there, a tomatillo salsa, as well as a sort of pickled veg on the side. And then for dessert, of course, I got churros. Um, they were filled with dulce de leche and had a warm chocolate dipping sauce and it was just a wonderful meal. I had a smaller bite to eat at Fresh, a vegan restaurant on Spadina. It was raining out and I really wanted a soup and the superfood soup was quite tasty. It was turmeric, miso, and ginger with lots of veggies. Um, and I also got the side cornbread and hummus and it was great. Mugi is an all vegan Thai place with a small rotating menu and I got the Northern Larb and it was the single most interesting bite that I had on the trip. Um, very different than anything I've had. It had jackfruit, tofu, mung bean vermicelli, wood ear mushrooms, and the sauce it was in, the preparation was actually quite spicy and it was mind blowing. I went to Saigon Lotus restaurant um, and I got the vegan combo so I could try several different dishes and everything I had was really, really good. Um, and I also tried steamed rolls for the first time. They were stuffed with mushroom and yeah, I loved it all. I ran into the Eden Center Mall just to go to a Purdy's Chocolatier kiosk. I had seen that this famously Canadian brand of chocolate recently started to make vegan chocolate and I wanted to support that. So I got a um, sort of milk chocolate style trail mix bar and it was really, really good. I loved all the inclusions. Um, as a vegan, I mostly eat dark chocolate. So when there's something on the sweeter side, it appeals to me a little less, but it was definitely really, really well done. And with that, the Toronto leg of my trip was about to be finished. And I was at Union Station uh, about to board a Via Rail train bound for Ottawa. And with the four and a half hour journey ahead of me, I definitely needed some sustenance. So I went to Greenhouse Juice Co., which was really the only vegan friendly um, place to grab something in Union Station. And so I got this Caesar salad and a juice and made my way. <laughs> 